It is a really special place. It helped me get a hold on my life. This hospice is about living. It's about trying to get people to the optimum, and that's a very nursing team. I tend to say, let's get your match fit. Thank you very much. I have peritoneal mesothelioma, which is a very rare form of cancer. There are about five in the northwest diagnosed every year. It just gives you uh, confidence um, and it helps with trying to come to terms with what you've got, but it isn't necessarily as bleak as you think it is. I have lots of quite complicated health problems really and by coming here it helped me get a hold on my life really and, and get some control back and make it feel like it's me again. All I could see was a sea of green and I thought whilst that's lovely it's quite boring and I set about about three and a half years ago investigating could we as a hospice open the gardens. The garden's a living thing, isn't it? It's, it's about things growing, it's about people sitting in the garden, enjoying it, the birds. We're over the moon, I think it's so well deserved. There's so many people that have given up their spare time and I think it's wonderful. Diane Oxbury is a well-known character, isn't she? We all felt as if we knew her even though we'd never met her. And so to have her, the garden that's in her dedication, it's, it's even more special. For me, the Sunshine Garden, what that represents and what that means, it's about adding that into the fabric of what we've already got. It will grow and develop as this garden grows and develops, and it's never ending. It's, it's a lifelong thing. It's never going to make it all better, but it makes it a lot easier.